yeah, he was really good. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, he just, you know, he got it going after that. And I thought his, I thought his curveball today was, you know, especially after that first inning became a real, real weapon for him to, uh, you know, he used it to get back into counts. He used it for strikeouts. So, um, you know, his curveball was a really good pitch for him tonight. To have that on the heels of Jimmy Nelson last night and what he was able to do, does that help you deal with some of the disappointment of the other things that have happened this season? Well, they're, they're two young pitchers that are, you know, putting together a nice, nice season so far. So it's, yeah, it's an, it's an, it's encouraging for sure. How much does it help to give him four runs right in the bottom of the first after kind of a shaky start? Uh, that, that helps. Yeah, I like that every night. That's great. I mean, it's um, yeah. We. I mean, I think. You know, I, th I think you see it every night. I think oftentimes, the the first it's that feels like the first inning and the sixth and the seventh inning are the you know the, those big innings where, the first inning the starting pitcher you have a chance before he's settled in with his stuff, to maybe uh, to to jump on him. You know, and then when they at the at, towards the end of their start when they're you know, 100 pitches in is, you know, also, also when they're vulnerable. But it's, you know, we see it quite a bit. That first, the first inning is a big inning where you can get a guy before he's, you know, all the way settled in. That's certainly the way it turned out because you got nothing off Kennedy after that. Barely a hit. Yeah, yeah, and he, I mean, he's, he's, he pitched well. He got into a rhythm and, and, and was pitching well. Yeah, that triple by Shane Peterson was a big hit because, you know, he had a chance to get out with just two runs. Right. And he gets a two out, two run triple. It's just yeah, it's a, everything. you know the two out hits, two out hits, and we and we put together a great two out rally in the in the eighth as well. Is that defense? Him coming, Schaefer going in there, or was something else? No, just defense. Yeah. On the, uh, I'm sure the last thing you expected to do is have to use K Rod after the eighth inning. I, I know you had him up, and then when you got the big lead, you put set him back down. How hard is it to get him back going again after that? Well, Frankie's, you know, Frankie is very good at, um, you know, knowing what he has to do and when he has to get ready. And obviously, with two outs and a and a two run, with those two outs and a two run lead, he's, you know, get he's all the way ready. Um, but he, you know, I think the next time he gets up, he's going to be ready really fast. So. I don't think a Taylor walked anybody. You know, you know, sometimes he has some walks that make him work a little hard. But tonight, that was. He just seemed to have such good command and stayed ahead. And yeah, and I, I think the curveball was a big part of that. I think he got, you know, like I said, getting back into account, and then he, you know, he used that as a, you know, really a, a pitch to get, you know, strikeouts and not, you know, a foul ball maybe on his fastball. He got a lot of swings, swings and misses on his curveball late, late in the count. Is that the difference making pitch for him, Craig? Is that curve when he has it, he's like really good and. Well, I think tonight he didn't go to his changeup that much because the curveball was, you know, very effective for him. And I thought Luke, you know, called a good game, you know, with that, you know, re recognizing that. Um, but at, at, at other times in the season, his changeup's been a very effective pitch. You know, Will Smith and JJ responded pretty good to that leadoff double, too. And what was that, the eighth? It was the eighth, yeah. Yeah, they did a nice job, and that's, I think. I think the starter getting us through seven allows us to really, you know, get get matchups that we want in the eighth. And um, with both of those guys down there, you feel like you have a safety net. I think this was um, Youngman's 11th start. Um, are we past the flukish starts, you know, beginning to a career stage? With him? Is this like we could say this is what he, this is him now, or? I mean, we we haven't seen anything different. It's he's been very consistent. I think is 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 the big thing. It's been it's been very consistent. Uh, there's been um, you know, the, for me, there's been no blips. It's been a consistent effort every time he takes the mound. Um, and, and the big and you look for that. And he's you know he I think he has a very good idea. He really understands himself well. He understands his stuff. Um, you know, he's he's not. I think just you know his presence out there is uh, as of a more veteran player.